Welcome back to the Chasm Channel. Today we'll be talking about the mobile UI in WinCC 08. Hey Sean, how's that beverage? It's pretty good, James. All right. <laughs> so we've had a few questions about the mobile UI in WinCC 08. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so every SCADA package typically has a few different clients mm -hmm. and you have to decide what type of user um, and how they're consuming it so that you can connect the right type of client. And so inside of WinCC 08, there's three types of clients. Okay, and uh, what clients are those? So we've got uh, the three clients. So one of them is a desktop UI. And the desktop UI is usually used for an operator out in the field. Mm -hmm. They go out, they're looking at the process. It's a machine application on an HMI touch panel typically. Mm -hmm. And so you're gonna see the status of what is happening now. And that's usually what that is used for. Okay. The second one is going to be the ultralight client. This is an HTML5 client. So typically somebody in the front office, maybe a shift manager is going to be using that because the type of the device that they're using isn't a touch panel. It's mm -hmm. usually, you know, like Chrome browser or Internet Explorer or Firefox. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and then the last one is a tablet, like a smartphone and tablet. It's called the mobile UI. And that's what we're gonna be showing today. Got it, so the mobile UI is used on a tablet or some kind of other mobile device. That right. makes sense. Yeah, it's all about mobility. So if we can, uh, you know, like right now, how our operators are tied to a control panel. Mm -hmm. And so that isn't necessarily close to what's going on on their production line right now. Mm -hmm. So imagine being able to take that touch panel and walk out and actually look at the equipment so where your HMI panel is basically traveling and following you around. So we're mobilizing the plant floor with tablets. And because we can use Android or iOS devices, cool. you know, it's a pretty industrial environment. If you can put an industrial hardened case, so one second. Okay. We've got an iPad Pro here. We've got a unicorn beetle. Wow. Sounds, who, who bought that, that one? Very nice. <laughs> okay, so we've got a unicorn beetle case, but we put this on there, and I'm not going to drop this because if something does happen to it, I mean, we, you know. Yeah, thanks. Anyways, yeah. Uh, so, usually industrial tablets out there cost a lot of money, mm -hmm. and you know, you can put something on this, and you know, forklift runs over it. You're talking hundreds of dollars to replace versus thousands. Of dollars. Right. So that's the application for using, or the justification for using an iPad or an Android device out on the platform. Okay, great. So we can use a regular iPad or an Android tablet to access the mobile UI and WinCC away. Correct. Okay, well, do you have a moment to show us how to get it working? Yeah. Um, what we're gonna do this week's tutorial on this. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the actually WinCC OA server, and then this is gonna be nothing more than a client. So Perfect. We'll, we'll cut to that. I'll show the quick tutorial there of just how to get the server, the web server running, and then we'll configure it on this device. Okay, sounds great, let's go. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is get our web server started. So append new manager and add a control manager. And we wrote, you know, we, we did a tutorial earlier on how to set up the web server. Essentially, that's what we're doing right now. So we drill down to the web client underscore HTTP dot CTL. You simply write that syntax into the options line, set it to once and click OK. And then once this is up and running and the light's green, that's all you need to do. Your web server's up and going. So we'll wait for that to start. Next thing we want to do is modify our config file. And so we're going to make two entries right here, data equals enter your IP address inside quotation marks and you want to do colon 4897 and then you want to do event this is the event port and this is your IP address colon 4998 essentially these are the two ports that allow for a client to connect to your system and go ahead and click save it and you're done that's the only configuration you need to do so we're going to close out of these two windows right here and we're going to open up a web browser just to make sure that we're getting a web connection to the OA server. So I'm going to use the ultralight client right here, type in localhost because I am on the local machine. There we go, there's our login page, so we're good. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do with the app is go to the app store. We're using an Apple device here. 
you keyword search you're looking for, just type in WinCCOA mobile UI or it's going to be something like that. I think the keyword is actually going to be like somatic WinCC UI. Oh, here we are. Somatic WinCC OA UI. And we've already had this downloaded to our device, so that's why you see the little cloud. So we're just going to reinstall it. Let's test our Wi-Fi here. There we go. Pretty light. Okay, so this app is delivered with a demo and this is connected over to the cloud servers in, at Siemens ETM. So if you click that, you can play around with the demo, check it out, uh, so on. So to get started, you wanna click the pencil. Sorry, that was a, the wrong thing, the pencil actually. Uh, goes so that you can modify that existing demo. So let's get out of there. But before that, let's change your there language. We go. So click the wrench icon and change it to English really fast. Okay, and now hit the plus sign. Add the IP address of our server. So our WinCCOA server is 192.168.2.52. And you can uncheck the SSL because we don't have SSL certificates. Hit the save button. And go ahead and click the application. Go ahead and use the username root. We didn't set a password in the beginning, so it's just root with no password. There's our data. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Remember to subscribe and click the bell to stay notified of future updates.